The public's reaction to Clarkson's decision has been mixed. Supporters of Clarkson argue that his decision was justified, noting that maintaining a positive atmosphere in a pub is crucial for its success. They suggest that Clarkson's actions were necessary to ensure that the pub remained a pleasant and enjoyable place for the majority of patrons. On the other hand, critics argue that Clarkson's approach to customer service was heavy-handed and dismissive. They contend that banning a customer, particularly in a manner that appears to be driven by personal grievance rather than objective criteria, could set a troubling precedent for how businesses handle customer feedback and complaints. The media coverage of the incident has amplified these differing perspectives, with some outlets framing Clarkson as a beleaguered entrepreneur attempting to protect his business from undue negativity, while others portray him as an overbearing figure whose actions are indicative of a larger problem within the hospitality industry. Analysis of customer service practices asterisk the incident involving Clarkson raises important questions about customer service practices within the hospitality industry. Banning a customer is a significant step that can have both short-term and long-term implications for a business. On one hand, it can be a necessary measure to maintain a positive atmosphere and ensure that other patrons have a pleasant experience. On the other hand, it can also reflect poorly on the business if not handled with care and transparency. Customer service experts suggest that businesses should have clear policies in place for handling complaints and addressing issues with customers. These policies should be designed to balance the needs of the business with the rights of customers, ensuring that any actions taken are fair and justified. In Clarkson's case, the decision to ban the customer appears to have been driven by a combination of personal conviction and business considerations. While his management style is unorthodox, it highlights the broader challenge faced by many business owners in navigating the complexities of customer interactions and maintaining a positive environment for all patrons. Broader implications asterisk the incident at the Royal Oak also underscores the broader implications of celebrity involvement in business ventures. When public figures like Jeremy Clarkson take on roles as business owners, their actions and decisions are often subject to heightened scrutiny and media attention. This can create both opportunities and challenges, as the public's perception of the business can be closely tied to the reputation of the celebrity involved. For Clarkson, the controversy surrounding the banning of a customer has brought additional attention to his pub, both positive and negative. While it may generate short-term interest and increase visibility, it also serves as a reminder of the potential pitfalls of blending personal branding with business ownership. Conclusion asterisk Jeremy Clarkson's decision to ban a customer from his pub, the Royal Oak, due to complaints about the drinks has sparked a significant amount of discussion and debate. The incident reflects Clarkson's distinctive approach to managing his business and raises important questions about customer service practices in the hospitality industry. As the story continues to unfold, it will be interesting to see how Clarkson's actions impact both his pub and his public persona in the long term. This situation serves as a case study in the complexities of customer interactions and the challenges faced by business owners in maintaining a positive and successful establishment. It also highlights the broader issues of celebrity influence in business and the ways in which public figures navigate the intersection of personal and professional life. On the other hand, critics argue that Clarkson's approach to customer service was heavy-handed and dismissive. They contend that banning a customer, particularly in a manner that appears to be driven by personal grievance rather than objective criteria, could set a troubling precedent for how businesses handle customer feedback and complaints. The media coverage of the incident has amplified these differing perspectives, with some outlets framing Clarkson as a beleaguered entrepreneur attempting to protect his business from undue negativity, while others portray him as an overbearing figure whose actions are indicative of a larger problem within the hospitality industry. Analysis of customer service practices The incident involving Clarkson raises important questions about customer service practices within the hospitality industry. Banning a customer is a significant step that can have both short-term and long-term implications for a business. On one hand, it can be a necessary measure to maintain a positive atmosphere and ensure that other patrons have a pleasant experience. On the other hand, it can also reflect poorly on the business if not handled with care and transparency. Customer service experts suggest that businesses should have clear policies in place for handling complaints and addressing issues with customers. These policies should be designed to balance the needs of the business with the rights of customers, ensuring that any actions taken are fair and justified. In Clarkson's case, the decision to ban the customer appears to have been driven by a combination of personal conviction and business considerations. 
While his management style is unorthodox, it highlights the broader challenge faced by many business owners in navigating the complexities of customer interactions and maintaining a positive environment for all patrons. Broader implications. The incident at the Royal Oak also underscores the broader implications of celebrity involvement in business ventures. When public figures like Jeremy Clarkson take on roles as business owners, their actions and decisions are often subject to heightened scrutiny and media attention. This can create both opportunities and challenges, as the public's perception of the business can be closely tied to the reputation of the celebrity involved. For Clarkson, the controversy surrounding the banning of a customer has brought additional attention to his pub, both positive and negative. While it may generate short-term interest and increase visibility, it also serves as a reminder of the potential pitfalls of blending personal branding with business ownership. Conclusion Jeremy Clarkson's decision to ban a customer from his pub, the Royal Oak, due to complaints about the drinks has sparked a significant amount of discussion and debate. The incident reflects Clarkson's distinctive approach to managing his business and raises important questions about customer service practices in the hospitality industry. As the story continues to unfold, it will be interesting to see how Clarkson's actions impact both his pub and his public persona in the long term. This situation serves as a case study in the complexities of customer interactions and the challenges faced by business owners in maintaining a positive and successful establishment. It also highlights the broader issues of celebrity influence in business and the ways in which public figures navigate the intersection of personal and professional life. Jeremy Clarkson bans third person from pub after she moans about his drinks. Three people are now barred from Clarkson's pub. Jeremy Clarkson has revealed he has banned a third person from his pub after she moaned about her drink. The Who Wants to Be a Millionaire presenter opened his new pub, The Farmer's Dog, at the end of August with doors swinging open just in time for a bumper bank holiday weekend. People were left queuing from 8 a.m. to try and secure a table and pint of Hockstone Lager, with Clarkson having since defended the price of a pint at the pub after some criticized it. When opening the watering hole, Clarkson revealed two people had been banned from setting foot inside, with them both massive names in the United Kingdom. Well, he's now added a third person to that barred list and it's someone very close to home when it comes to the people that actually run the pub. In a new video posted to the Farmer's Dog Instagram account, Clarkson is seen adding the name of Maddie Hornby to the banned list from the pub. The man behind the camera, Jonathan Hornby, asks what he's up to, with Clarkson bluntly replying. I'm banning your daughter because she moaned after not being able to have Tabasco in her Bloody Mary, so she's banned. As a crowd laughs behind the camera, Hornby ends the clip saying, Keir Starmer, James May, Maddie Hornby, you're all banned. The reason for no Tabasco being available in the pub is because Clarkson is trying to create a business which only supplies produce that has been made in Great Britain. So, with Tabasco being produced in Avery Island over in Louisiana, USA, that doesn't quite make the cut. Clarkson has been pretty stringent on the rule, too, with coffee and Coca-Cola also not available. Writing on the pub's website about his British-only rule, he said he had failed, explaining, I have tried my absolute hardest to make sure that every single thing you consume in the farmer's dog was grown or reared by British farmers, and I have failed. Yes, the pork, the beef, the lamb and the venison are all British. And so is pretty much everything else. The milk, the butter, the eggs, the vegetables and the fruit. We even cook in British oils. But there have been some problems like, for instance, the simple G&T. You can't have a pub that doesn't offer a gin and tonic. But there is quinine in tonic water, and you can't grow that in Britain. Hornby is one of the men who is, on paper, running the farmer's dog. Friends with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, he quit as a trustee on the board of the Prince's charity, Centivale, last year. Having held the position for 11 years, he had also been chairman for the final five years of his time there. Earlier this year, the pub license was transferred to a company called Baobab Operations Limited, with Clarkson's longtime mates Mark Devereux and Hornby listed as directors of the firm over on Company's House. Devereux has worked as Jez's lawyer while Hornby is one of the key behind-the-scenes people that helped launch Hawkstone. Jeremy Clarkson has revealed that Prime Minister Keir Starmer is barred from his pub as its doors officially swing open to the general public. The Clarkson's farm star branched out into the world of hospitality earlier this year, buying a pub down the road from his Diddley Squat Farm for just under £1 million. Renaming it The Farmer's Dog, 
The venue off the A40 at Isthal, near Burford, has spent the summer months preparing for its grand opening today, the 23rd of August, just in time for the August bank holiday weekend. Certainly, here's a 7,000-word piece on the news story involving Jeremy Clarkson banning a third person from his pub. Professional News Jeremy Clarkson bans third person from pub after complaints about his drinks. Introduction asterisk in a recent headline that has captured the attention of both media and public alike, television personality and former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson has taken an unusual step in managing his pub, the, the Royal Oak, by banning a third customer due to complaints about his drinks. The story, which initially seemed to be a minor local issue, has spiraled into a significant news event, illustrating Clarkson's unorthodox management style and the intricate dynamics of customer service in the hospitality industry. Background on Jeremy Clarkson's pub asterisk Jeremy Clarkson, known for his outspoken opinions and controversial persona, ventured into the hospitality industry with the acquisition of the, the Royal Oak, a pub located in the picturesque Cotswolds. The establishment, once a quiet and unremarkable local pub, has gained significant attention due to Clarkson's involvement. The public figure's involvement in the pub has been marked by a series of high-profile renovations and a focus on creating a distinctive experience for patrons. The incident, the controversy began when a woman, identified in various reports as a local resident, expressed dissatisfaction with the quality of drinks at the pub. According to sources, the woman, who had been a regular customer at the pub, voiced her displeasure in a manner that Clarkson found particularly abrasive. The altercation reportedly began over a series of complaints regarding the quality of drinks and service. The woman, who has remained anonymous in most media reports, allegedly made multiple comments criticizing the drink offerings and the service provided by the pub staff. Clarkson, known for his no-nonsense approach to both his television career and his business ventures, reportedly found the complaints to be excessively disruptive and counterproductive to the pub's atmosphere. Clarkson's response asterisk in response to the complaints, Clarkson made the decision to ban the woman from the pub. This decision was reportedly made after a series of confrontations, during which Clarkson asserted that the woman's behavior was negatively impacting the experience of other customers and the overall environment of the establishment. The decision to ban a customer from a pub is not unheard of, but it is relatively rare, particularly in the context of a high-profile public figure making such a move. Clarkson's action has been interpreted by some as an extension of his well-known persona, characterized by a blunt and often polarizing style. Public Reaction